This is a photo um, that was painted by an uh, artist from London, right, who came here to document the treatment of enslaved Africans um, by those we know today as white Christians. And this is one of the common photos um, of a, a slave auction in Virginia. And, you know, I always like to share with people, especially those who come to New Orleans, and I get a chance to take them around the town and show them the history of New Orleans, that slavery was a little bit different in New Orleans and how they did things. It was still brutal. It was still barbaric. It was still satanic. OK, there was anything glamorous about it, um, like the daughters of the Confederate would love for us to think in this watered down version of slavery that's being taught to white kids. Okay, Because I always say white children are the most lied to people on planet Earth. And one of the things they're being lied to about right now is that slavery was, you know, a, a picnic, a work release program. <laughs> you know, like you see the, the prisons who are still practicing slavery today with prisoners on the side of the road. You know, it's it's a they, they want to paint this as some watered down version of so but slavery was satanic. It was it was torture, it was rape, it was molestation, you know, it was pedophilia that was practiced by white Christians. Okay. And this is a photo from that time that captures a slave block. And I and I but I also want to direct people that this is also this photo here is also a slave auction. And this photo is a slave auction in New Orleans, right? Just as brutal, just as barbaric, even though the slaves, the enslaved Africans are dressed in tuxedos and ball gowns. You know, that's the cruelty that existed in New Orleans, that they would dress us up in tuxedos and ball gowns. And I had the honor of meeting the author who tracked down this photo. Um, we were at a symposium together hosted by Tulane University back in, I want to say it was 2016. And, you know, her, her research, it, it really, it, it brought tears to your eyes, you know, she, you know, and, and she, and she was a white lady, but she really captured it. And I applaud her efforts in, in digging this up. And I, and I want to post this photo to remind African-Americans, you know, don't allow white people to know more about your story than you do. You know, I don't care if the white person has a PhD in African-American study. The fact that they know more about your story, right, is a disgrace. Do not, because if we don't, if we don't um, make sure that we are the archivists of these stories, then you already see what's happening in Texas. You already see what white Christians are doing in Florida. They're trying to erase this history. Right. And we're not going to let it happen in New Orleans. We're going to continue to tell our children about the brutality, just like the Jews. When the Jews don't let us forget the Holocaust, we're not going to allow white Christians to forget the enslavement of Africans that took place in this country. OK, I don't want to hear about the indigenous populations. I want to hear about them. Their stories have been documented and chronicled and they watched us as slaves. It didn't lift a fucking finger to help us. Our story is separate from these other stories. We came here in the source, the sewer system of ships. And we, we walked off those ships in chains. And these evil bastards dressed us in tuxedos and ball gowns. Then sold us. That's the legacy of white Christianity.